Hi, this is Mike Varty from Script for Justice, Tier, Credo, Landmark, uh, Shadowland, uh, and you're watching Live Prog. Do boy, the crawlers come the floor in the red ochre corridor for my second side of people. They were life blood than before. Eye is winking, closing on the pole. The carpet crawlers eat their callers. We've got, got to get, get in to get, get out. out. We've got, got to get in to get out. We've got to get in. Well, we are here with uh, Brian Cummings from Carpet Crawlers, <laughs> uh, but tonight from uh, Script for a Justice Tour. Skip, mixed, mixed Marillion, mixed yep. script, yeah. Many, Make Pointer many, and many Friends. Names. Here now to talk a little bit, of course, about the Carpet Crawlers, which is, uh, well, your band. Well, at least you're in it. <laughs> um, well, you've been playing in Holland uh, several times so far. And, um, four times. Four, four times. times in one year. Yeah, I've been very lucky. Okay, yeah, no, that's, that's very good, of course. Um, now, in Holland, it, it, I understood it's a few different than, than in England um, because Carpet Cross is basically, if you put it really plainly, a cover band. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's up here. Yeah. And, and in Holland, um, yeah, people tend to have a bit of a. Um, Difficulty with it because they all say, "Why, well, why don't sing original songs?" But um, where did the Carpet Crawlers start? Carpet Crawlers started in, in January '05. Um, me and another friend of mine, Chris O'Connell, who was the original guitarist, we went on a guys and up gang of guys all went up for a for a drink. We went to watch another Genesis tribute band called We Genesis. We were playing in Liverpool. And they were a great band, and we were, we were we were enjoying the show. And I kind of, Chris O'Connor was like, "Oh, Brian, you sound like Peter Gabriel. You do a great Gabriel. We should do a Genesis band." Like, mm. And I've always wanted to do something like that because it's such a challenging thing to pull off. Because you, it's not just the music or the voice; it's the production, it's the theatrics, it's it's there's so many different facets to a Genesis show. Um, and I've always thought, well, I'd love to do it. And I didn't think, I said, okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll put the feelers out and see if we can find some musicians. And I didn't think I'd find anyone. And within a week, I had a band. <laughs> so I was like, shit, well, I've started it, so I may as well go with it. And we've had a couple of problems with, with me, uh, members over the past couple of years, leaving, and we've had to replace a couple of members. But now we've got a solid lineup and. As you see, the past year we've had, we've had a lot of success playing around Europe, and people are starting to get what we do, you know. Um, even though we're a cover band, like you said. I, 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 can I just play here every week? I fucking love it here. <laughs> Thanks so much for all the people involved to help us get to here. Let's do an old song. Let's do a really old song. The what? Never heard of it. Is that on the greatest hits? If I haven't got it. Okay, well, so, well, what I understand from you is that it's just more than just playing the songs. It's a lot more involved. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Hopefully what people, well, I don't know, hopefully what people get with, with anything I'm involved in is, is um, I'm not one of these arty, farty, ooh, rock star types. I just love getting up on a stage with a, with a packed house, sweat dripping from the ceiling, everyone going crazy, and, having a, having a, and, and to give people these trips down memory lane, like script for instance, to have, to have the power to, mm. to, to, to take people back to that moment in time, if you can get close to that, I mean if I can get close to, to standing in Fisher's shoes, if I can get half 
as good as him at, at what, when he was in his day in, in the script, then that's that's a, a great achievement. And the same with Gabriel and Collins and the, with the carpet crawlers side of it. I find, I love the challenge of trying to recreate what is essentially a multi-million pound show in Wembley Stadium <laughs> in the Boudreaux a scale down but we, we, uh, if you see like the DVD we, we get fairly we get fairly close you know it's one o'clock in time for lunch bum de dum de day when the sun meets down and I lay in the milch I can always hear Harry talk it's always been there though we can't be gonna try to you who now Then Mr. Lewis It's in the time that he was having his own Over the garden wall Children are not bad Oh, could go to you Keep them on Been fortunate enough to to witness uh, that show. You saw that show. Uh, I show that yeah. show, and that's of course uh, this one. Shown it already. Um, well, it, it was indeed very impressive uh, with with the, with the lights, with the costumes. Um, yeah. So you really crawl inside the person and and well, yeah, basically you know, try to become it, it, him. Well, it is. You know, and a lot of people say shit like that, and it, be, it has become a bit of a cliche. But I just find it challenging. It's like putting on different hats. It's like Gabriel is very different to Collins in the performance. Of it. But there are there's a, there's a common thread through both, and the same with Fish. And I just love I love the challenge of of of, of, um, of trying to like you say get into get into the different mindsets of each. Because I'm not I'm actually not a singer first. I'm a, I'm a guitarist. Okay. So I don't think of my voice. Has some precious instrument. Not that, that well, there are some singers like that. But I think of my voice like a like an instrument, and and the different nuances of Fish's voice and Kira's voice to me are just like different guitar pedals that switch on. I think guitarists would do it, and that's how I kind of that's how I love to play. I, I, I like playing with things and seeing if I can do it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't, but I like to try. I think the audience get that. Yeah. From me. Listen to the old one speak of all he has lived through. I have crossed between the poles. For me, there's no mystery. Well, it's it's um. Very beautiful that it's now documented and that we can see it on DVD. Uh, was that something that you all really wanted to uh, to do? No. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, everyone would love a DVD. Um, I just wanted to bring the carpet crawlers to Europe and show the guys just how good you guys are, the Bruderij and, and Dutch and German and, and, and European crowds on the whole. <coughs> and there's a guy, as you know, John Viz. And yeah. Miriam um, emailed me and said, "Would you mind <laughs> if I filmed the show?" And I was like, "Of course, not, no problem." You know, and and the guy is a magician. He did a fantastic job. And uh, obviously, we had to we had to edit the DVD and, and pick the, the angles and stuff. And I uh, we took a, a sound recording of the desk on the night, and I spent I actually engineered the the audio for the DVD in my own studio back at home. Um, but it was kind of, it started off as, would you like me to film it? I, I expected, you know, a guy with a camcorder or, like, or, or you know, back at the desk. And I, I'd have been happy yeah. with that. Oh, well, cheers very much. But he did such a fantastic job when I saw the footage. It was like, I think we should treat the material with, the, with the respect mm -hmm. it deserves. And we went the whole hog and tried to make a DVD out of it. And okay. You know, it, it's there's always room for improvements in the performance, but the actual for the first 
show in Europe and for the yeah. first attempt at a DVD. It's not bloody bad. You stand there with your fixed expression. I haven't seen it yet, so by yeah. the time this review comes out, I will have seen it. <laughs> oh, great! Yeah. Oh, but um, enjoy it. it's just not—it's just an honest performance. Yeah, oh, it's just very nice. We don't the carpet colours and we don't pretend to be anything. We're just a bunch of Genesis fans who love what we do, and we love putting on a good show. And we like, we like, we like trying to do what we shouldn't do. People say, "Oh, we're going to take forty moving heads to the booth." Like, no, you can't do that. Well, we'll try. You know, and, and we just, you know, you can't, you can't do it. Two shows of Gabriel and Collins in one night with <coughs> two drum kits and costumes. But we try, you know, sometimes it comes off and sometimes it doesn't. But we always try and do more than we should. Yeah. You know, always go, go, go on, try and go one better. <laughs> okay. Well, you done Fish, you do Gabriel, you do Collins. Yeah. Um, there's something um, I gotta ask, uh, because, um, well, you mention it on Facebook quite a lot. Sexy Sundays. <laughs> what's, what's with that? <laughs> Well, only my Facebook friends, but I've got a lot. I've got a lot of you guys from Holland and Germany on my Facebook. <coughs> back back in England, I'm actually a professional musician, and um, I go from playing, you know, Lorelei with, with Medallion, uh, with Mick, Mick's Medallion. Um, back home, I'm a, I'm a solo artist. I sing with guitar, and it, and again, but I, I sing in bars and pubs and clubs. But in most bars and clubs, where you see a guy. Solo artist, it's a guy with you know a back and track and a guitar. Me being me, and again going bigger and doing what I should. I go up with a 10 kilowatt PA system and 10 moving heads, and it's all controlled by computer. And I go to another name Hush in, in Liverpool, back home and on the Whittle. And I just sing modern material from Kings of Leon to um. Kip the Killers, and then I do 80s material, and, and Pink Floyd, and obviously Genesis, down to disco, and it's, it's, it's just a party show. Okay. I get a lot, I've got a lot of people follow me for a totally different reason in, in, back back home, and that's what the sexy Sundays are, every Sunday at the same place. Okay. And it's full of a lot of sexy women. Very I nice. I that part of it. Okay. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time, and uh, good luck. And good luck to you with the, the website, you, you're doing a great job mate, and I've seen the videos yeah. and I hope, hope you're kind, you know you to us. I, I will, no problem. <laughs> Take care guys.
Hi, I'm Brian Cummins and you're watching Live Prog. <laughs> 